Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge A level information technology paper 4 for May June 2023. I am going to solve the animation task which is task 2. First task is graphics creation that is already done and uploaded. You can find the link in the description. Use your basic wheel image to create a stop motion animation of a conveyor belt. We have already created the basic wheel. This is the basic wheel. Set a frame size of 400 pixels wide and 100 pixels high with a transparent background. Set a time of 100 millisecond for each frame. So before uh, doing the animation, let's create the image for the conveyor belt. So I'll be doing that from Illustrator. create a new artboard so we need to fit the basic wheel we need to fit the basic wheel inside the conveyor belt and we are going to resize the basic wheel to 60 pixels so the inside bit should be 60 pixel and the belt must be approximately 5 pixels thick so the thickness of this belt is 5 pixel and we are going to set this in a frame size of 400 pixels by 100 pixels height so the length of the conveyor belt you can give in less than 400 so I will use a rectangle of 380 pixel width and the height will be the inside width must be 60 so the outside will be here it is 5 pixel and here it is 5 pixel so I'll take it as 70 the height will be 70 give ok so I got a rectangle here now let's zoom it Now you can click at this corner and curve the sides till you get a circular curve here. So we have the outer boundary of the conveyor belt. Similarly, I will create another one. So another rectangle which should be which we will give as 370. This one we had given as 380. So I am giving 370 because we need 5 pixel width here and 5 pixel width here and the inner height is 60 as given because we need to fit the wheel inside this so let's give 370 and 60 give ok now same way let's curve this you can keep it here and make sure the centers are intersected now select both of them use the pathfinder tool to minus the front so we got the conveyor belt shape let's give the color red I'll export this the examination folder as conveyor export so let's start the animation now so we have to open Adobe animate will create a new stage for this and according to the question you have to set 400 pixels by 100 pixels high so the width is 400 and height is 
100 and the frame rate should be set. We need to set 0 0.1 seconds for each frame. So each frame will be 0 0.1 seconds. So uh, the frame rate will be 1 second divided by, uh, for each frame we need 0 0.1. So 1 divided by 0 0.1 you will get 10. So each 1 second will be 10 frames. So the frame rate should be 10. So the frame rate is 10 here. Create. Let's zoom in or fit to the window. So let us bring the conveyor belt here. You can drag the conveyor belt here. import all parts into the same layer and frame. So now you can see we need to show a yellow join running between the conveyor belt in this way. Uh, there are six intervals which we have to show here. So I am going to insert six seconds for the animation. So let's insert frame till 6 seconds. Now I'll add another layer for the wheel. So drag the basic wheel here. Same way import all parts into the same layer and frame. Now this wheel has to be converted into 60 pixels. I mean the diameter should be 16 pixels. So let's select the wheel and change the width and height to 60. So this is the uh, left wheel. We have to add another one here. Uh, so first let's convert this into simple, simple one. So this is the left wheel. Now add a new layer for the right wheel. I'll drag the symbol here because it's already converted to 60 pixels and then let's keep it here. Now for the left wheel, I'll insert animation, create motion tween. Also for right wheel, create motion tween. Now you can click on the left wheel layer and give rotation. So rotate clockwise and I'll give one time here. Same way for the right wheel, rotate clockwise one time. So now you when you play the animation you can see the wheels are rotating. So this we have done. The wheels must both rotate clockwise at the same speed. This is done. Uh, the whole image must almost fill the width of the frame. That's also done. Now there must be a short yellow patch in the belt to simulate a joint. So you can see here a yellow patch should be there and it should run around the wheels as shown here. You can see they have given you six stages where you have to show the patch running around this. So in order to do this I am going to use the uh, masking technique. So for that I will make a conveyor belt which is yellow in color. Same conveyor belt. Let's change the color. Uh, there is no ba uh, border. I'll change the color to yellow. So let me export this. I 
export as join I am exporting this as join so export now coming back to animation let's insert a new layer now onto this layer let's drag the join which we made now so this is the join I'll drag it here okay. now keep it on top of this now I'm going to add a layer for the mask so add a new layer this is for the mask so you can see in the beginning we have a yellow strip here so So I have inserted a rectangle here which will be used as a mask later. So at once uh, at the beginning we have here. Now at one second I will insert a blank keyframe. Before that let us copy this so that all of them are of the same size. Now let us paste it at this keyframe blank keyframe. Let's keep it this way. Now at two seconds, another blank keyframe. Paste it. So here we have given at this position we have given, and at this position now next we have to insert the jo show the join here so we will insert a rectangle as a mask at this point so again insert blank keyframe now at 4 second insert another blank keyframe and let's keep it here this way and at 5 second so at all these points where the yellow strip is there I have inserted the rectangle which will be acting as a mask there now let's uh, so this is the layer so what we have done is we have inserted the yellow conveyor belt here on this layer and for the mask layer I have inserted at one second uh, one blank keyframe is inserted and you can see the rectangles are inserted at the positions where the join has to be shown so you can see like this now let's convert this layer to a mask so right click on this and you can see the option mask here so give mask so now let's play and see now next let's uh, play and see um, press control enter you can see the output I am pressing control enter or you can click from here control and test so that you can see the animation so this is the animation you can see the yellow join is running around the conveyor belt and the wheels are rotate So all the requirements are done now uh, the animation must loop in indefinitely and save the animation as uh, animated gif named as conveyor belt so let's export this file export 
export as animated GIF. Make sure it is transparent. It is given in the question to be transparent. You can save. Save inside your folder. Examination folder. The name is conveyor belt. Conveyor belt followed by your center number and candidate number. So this is the end of the animation task. Next task is the spreadsheet. This is already done and uploaded. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for now.